All right, so um, my Tavala order just came Wednesday, about 4.30, delivered by FedEx. Here's my box. I unfortunately opened it right before I could show you an opening video, but let's just check it out. Um, some of the other people have said that it's been packed differently now. A difference. Nothing. This is this is warm. None of this has changed. But supposedly down in here, in between wheels, is where somebody makes some difference. So, wow! Look, look at that. That's pretty pristine compared to what I would normally get. Uh, I have no difference on. Mine really. These certainly held up way better. No, a lot of these are normally crushed right in sometimes. Um, and again, I really don't think it really has too much to do with Tavala themselves. If, as you see, there's no, there was dividers on somebody else's that he posted in between these um, that seem to support them getting crushed but the biggest difference I noticed for me was looking at my box that came was a lot of times my box comes these corners are crushed right in and stuff from where you can tell where they have taken and just you know done this type of stuff like in other words they have it waist height or whatever and they're moving it around on vehicles or whatever and they're doing that with it you know, and they're just throwing the boxes in and out of stuff. They're just dropping it from waist height, which, you know, I understand instead of doing all the bending and stooping that they're supposed to do in a sense, lifting correctly with their legs and things like that, it's much easier to take something from waist height and just drop it and let it fall into, you know, into place. But when you're doing that with items that have objects like these metal containers in them that can get bent and crushed th that impact is causing all the difference in the world and it's really up to fedex or the shipping companies whoever ship to not do that with these items that are tagala that even say fragile handle with care and we see this all the time and again i have friends and family that have worked a lot of these shipping places themselves and say you know, some of them I work at, they have cameras and everything in here and they constantly let people go because people do just that. Drop packages from waist height or whatever, you know, just kind of throw them around, really manhandle the stuff. And people complain all the time of breakages at those particular, you know, locations or warehouses. And in order to rectify that, they have to fire people and then they have to turn around and get new people in there to work that hopefully take more care and more pride in their jobs so anyway mine look really good i'm really happy this week